Here are six tips to master Apple CarPlay. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. Starting off with focus modes. Apple has a dedicated focus mode that's just for driving. You can enable this by going into Control Center or by going into Settings and turning on the Driving Focus. With this focus enabled, you can limit what notifications come through, limit access to your phone, and even add auto replies to certain or all messages that come through. It's really easy to do, and it'll make you a safer driver. You can tell it's enabled by the little driving focus icon inside of your car. If you don't want to have it turn on manually, you can enable it from Control Center or just ask Siri to switch your focus modes. Tip number two, try having some smart home devices. You can use Siri anywhere you are to control your smart home devices, but select devices can also show on your CarPlay interface. For example, if you add a garage door opener inside of Apple HomeKit, whenever you arrive home, your garage door will show up right on your CarPlay interface and you can tap it to open your garage door as you get home. So by the time you pull in your driveway, your garage is already open and it works in reverse. Whenever you pull out of your driveway, it'll show your garage door, tap it, It'll close and you're on your way. Did you know you can change the wallpaper for your CarPlay dashboard? It's true. See, there's a dedicated CarPlay settings app. Just scroll through your page until you see the settings icon. When you jump in there, you can change the appearance of your CarPlay. There's light and dark mode options, as well as various wallpaper options that you can choose from. Announcing notifications. With iOS 15 and later, Apple allows Siri to announce whenever you have a notification. That way you don't have to look at your Apple Watch or your iPhone. You can just hear Siri read that notification to you, which is especially useful when you're in the car. Now you can turn this on in general, like when you're using headphones, but you can also use it inside of CarPlay specifically, and that's its own individual toggle that you can turn on or off. So enable that for CarPlay whenever you're in the vehicle, it'll go ahead and lower your music down, read your message to you or your notification to you, and then resume whatever audio you were listening to. Number five, try different app types. Apple has been slowly expanding the types of apps that are available inside of Apple CarPlay. For example, recently they've added new ones for EVs, there's new ones for gas stations, there's new ones for food. So for example, a few of the favorite ones that I like, you can use the Chevron mobile app with CarPlay to automatically pay for your gas. You can just pull up to the pump and pay for your gas right there inside of the CarPlay interface. You can also order food. Apps like Panera and Domino's have dedicated apps for CarPlay where you can just order your food, pull up, grab it, and go. It's so easy to use. There's tons for things like audio, like whether you want to listen to Pandora or Audible, and of course there's tons of different mapping options, whether you want to go Google Maps, Waze, or something else entirely. Finally, try wireless CarPlay. And I know what you're thinking. You're telling me that your car does not have wireless CarPlay. You have to plug in your phone. Well, there's a ton of different adapters available online that will enable wireless CarPlay. For me, I haven't found any that don't work well. I've tried three or four of them at this point and so many of them just work seamlessly. I plug them into the car, plug in my phone to pair it for the first time. Then from then on, whenever I hop in my car, CarPlay is just wireless. It's really handy. You can use things like MagSafe enabled car chargers that you can just magnetically slap your phone on and starts charging while using CarPlay. And when you're using CarPlay wirelessly, it will actually show your phone's battery life on the CarPlay interface, which is just a nice little perk. Let me know what you guys think. Did you guys know all of these tips? And are there any other CarPlay tips that you want to share with everyone else? Let me know down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Otherwise, stay tuned. and a lot more videos coming your way.